What's up everybody, it's Easy, Easy Street Gaming, here, live and in the flesh. And as you can tell, we, are, we got a miner video coming at you. I use I use miners for mi for for mining. <laughs> I almost said it. Well, I guess I did say it. I use miners to farm. We have uh, we have a couple guys that use them in war. Uh, got both. Got got a bunch of raids, uh, farming raids, and uh, and I believe I just got one in war. Uh, some background: miners were the number one troop probably about a year ago. Then they got a pretty bad nerf because everyone had th ring bases and the miners could three them pretty much by themselves. And you know, as fun as it was to three star everyone, it sucked getting three stars, so they had to fix the miners. They did, and then uh, I'm not sure exactly the tweaks they made, but I know they slowed them down a little bit, which I think at first actually helped them. Uh, but then they did something else, and they just basically made them obscure. Well, they've slowly, I don't know how many how many nerfs they got and then how many uh, little buffs they got, but at this point right now, they, they are a very evenly operational troop. I don't know if I wanted to say it like that, but that's what they are. <laughs> so, uh, and, and this one right here, this is Creeper's uh, main account, or biggest account, Kyle H. And he's, he's kind of doing the same thing as I am. He's using them mainly to farm with, and I, I think I've seen him use the miners on, on his new 10 and low level I mean level 2 mi miners level 3 miners they automatically 3 star Town Hall 9 pretty much because uh, they're, they're a Town Hall 10 troop and even though they may seem weak in Town Hall 10 I know everyone gets them and they try to use them right away because uh, you know if you've been playing if you're a Town Hall 10 you've probably been playing for long enough to, to remember back when they were the top troop and you, then you get them, and then you, you, you get your ass handed to you for like the first 20 raids you use with them, and then most people don't use them anymore. Uh, a lot of debate in our clan as to whether or not they're any good. So I'll tell you what, what's, what I've done. I started using 30 miners, 4 healers, a couple baby dragons, probably I think four, something, 3 or 4 uh, wizards, and then a couple wall breakers, 4 or 5 wall breakers to open up the walls, kind of obvious, <laughs> for the heroes. So, uh, and, and what I'll do is I'll, and uh, actually this is uh, this next one right here is Weppa. What I'll do is I'll use the heroes and the queen walk and a couple rage spells, one to two, depending on how, how good she does on her own. And uh, I'll, use, I'll use the heroes to clean out a whole side. So, uh, let's say what Weppa's doing here, he's cleaning out the, the bottom right hand side. So, so, if that's where I was, I'd clean out that bottom right hand side and just try to punch his far into the base as I can and that will give that will put a lot less stress on the miners because you, you can drop them and they'll get to the third layer you know they've already gone onto one wall sometimes two and then in the third layer of defenses uh, if you're town hall 11 then you can use the warden's ability once they're all the way that far deep and that will probably get you to the core if not to the back side of the core and uh and it all starts off with some kind of penetration from the heroes or if you're going to use a kill squad, I see a lot of people do that too. Uh, they, they'll use a golem or two or several giants and wizards and they'll do the same thing. Instead of using the archer queen and, and the healers, they'll use the, the tanks and, and wizards and they'll push into the base as far as they can. Then they put the, the miners in and they try to, you know, you have to, my, miners are like, uh, they're not... They're almost identical, and stats-wise, to the Hog Rider. So, but you know, their 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 AI is so different that they're not the same type of troop as the Hog Rider at all. The Hog Riders go directly for the defenses, therefore they get beat up a lot more. You have to support them a lot more with the heal spells. Although, miners also are supported with the heal spells, and if you don't have any heal spells, you won't three star with miners. You got to bring at least one or two. And you know, so lately my my composition, army composition, at least on the spell side, has ha you have to bring a couple of rage for for the archer queen, and then you bring a bunch of heals for the miners. And depending on what your goals are, if you're trying to three star, then I would suggest bringing at least one freeze too. And you know, you know, everyone knows the process for the freeze and the and uh, if you're town hall eleven, the freeze and the warden's ability. 
use the warden's ability to get over the get through the first infernal tower and then you'll freeze the back end infernal tower that's how you can get through those fairly easily unless you're me and then you freeze the back end one and the front one kills you <laughs> and you get 49 percent so when I'm out farming now, being Town Hall 11 and being in Titan League, I the first thing I'm looking at are, are the trophies. Switch from loot to trophies, because now I'm going to see how far I can get. I'm not maxed out yet, and I really don't belong in the top part of Titan or Legend, really, because without I, I feel like without max heroes, then you can work real hard at it, but the, you can't defend as well without max heroes, and you just can't get around some of these bases. Uh, I'm. I'm not having to deal with all maxed Town Hall 11s when I'm farming. I still get Town Hall 10s every once in a while. And ironically, the Town Hall 10s always seem like they have more trophies. I, I guess because they're, they're, they're really pushing hard. Um, so if you guys, if, if you haven't been in Titan, let me tell you what happens here. You get a lot of Champ 2. And those reward you six to ten trophies depending on uh, whatever factors I don't even know exactly what it's depending on but uh and here's my there's some brilliance right there freeze everything pretty much but see I, I don't know where the miners are oh there they are they're going around the, see now one of the problems I have using miners is that I can't follow them very well so I, I, I heal the bushes instead of the miners <laughs> and uh, I, I the warden gets some separation with the miners and you know you don't want the warden off by himself because he's just not a powerful attacking troop he's a support troop and then he starts shooting at some crazy things too but does have great range so uh, let's get back to the miners so what I'm looking for is I'm looking for bases where the air defenses are either deep into the base because then I know that it's probably going to be a, a, an air base, an air defending base. Because most people, if they're if they're using balloons, for example, in, in all the raids, well, they're going to set up as a, for an anti-balloon attack because they're so accustomed to attacking with them. They they see the they see the weaknesses in their own base. So whenever you're using a specific attack, that's most that's usually that's what you're going to defend to as well. Because just because of the familiarity you have. With how easily you can you can three star if you do that if you have your your air defenses uh, in a certain place for example if uh, if you're if you're an air attacker so you identify different things so I'm looking at bases that that look like they're trying to defend for for air because what can really hurt a minor attack are all the ground skeletons if they have all three skeletons set to ground and they have them mixed in with the infernal towers and in with a Tesla farm. That can really hurt your minor attack because they they'll, they'll go under they'll kill a skeleton and they'll go underground and they get pulled back up and then that takes a couple they're not just chopping away at skeletons they're going up and down in the ground in the meanwhile and so that gives it that gives the skeletons a big advantage over them because they're just standing there chopping away and every time the miners kill the skeleton they got they got to go under <laughs> so okay so now this next attack is from is from Little Easy uh, Town Hall Ten. Let's see. I think level two miners just got miners. I think two or three weeks ago. Immediately put them in the oven. Got them to level two. So with level two miners, you can attack town hall nines and you can three star town hall nines pretty regularly. Uh, attacking a town hall ten, especially one that's well upgraded with level two miners, that's basically a. a un unless you really, really manipulate their base with your heroes or with a kill squad and you take out a good quarter or a third of it your level two miners really won't clear out a, a well well upgraded town hall 10 you gotta get them to level you have to max them out for, for town hall 10 before they're really effective against town hall 10 uh, now max miners I believe you can't max them out till town hall 11 uh, which I have done already and they are they are stout especially if you know how to use them and, and you conserve the heal spells and you, and you keep the heal spells on them uh, during stressful times like when uh, when they're approaching an infernal tower Even though the inf and let's say if it's a multi infernal tower, so it's gonna take a minute to kill them, right? Even though the infernal tower won't let the heal spell work through The uh, infernal tower beams. It's still good to drop it down because then the second the miners take out the infernal tower while well, they're sitting in a heal spell Okay, well, I'm back. I know you can't tell in the video, but I actually fell asleep in the middle of making the video last night and fell asleep on the couch. My wife loves up. <laughs> but 
I've already had a cup of coffee. It's it's the weekend. Everything's gonna be great because I'm going to shut off my phone and stay locked in my classroom today. <laughs> Sad. So we've got one more replay coming up. This next replay is from Terminator. It's a war attack. Uh, he's a max 11. Uh, he's uh, paid close attention to base weight while he was building this account, so. He doesn't have the the elite Town Hall 10 and 11 defenses. Doesn't have the Eagle and doesn't have the Inferno Towers. And so you can see here, he's number five in our lineup. He's attacking number four. He can probably attack the number one every war. Um, he's real humble attacker. Uh, real humble to us in three stars 95% of the time. Got a six pack this war using the miners. And what he'll do is he starts off pretty much the same way. And this is a, another really good way to start off your minor attacks, and that's one of the reasons why I want to include this in the minor video. Um, he doesn't use the, the Archer Queen walk like I would when I'm farming. He starts off with uh, a kill squad with giants and wizards, and his goal is to trigger those clan castle troops, pull them out of the clan castle while he's got the giants and wizards in there. And so that, that, that therefore, the clan castle troops will lock onto those giants and try to eliminate them first, and then the wizards can step in and take out the clan castle troops. And by that time, you know, he usually uses a jump spell and he'll get into the first set of walls with wall breakers. Uh, he'll push his way through the clan castle troops and therefore over the first set of walls with a jump spell. And now he's engaged to the core defenses while, and then the miners come in. And that, now he's got, he's got his kill squad working with, you know, the heroes, the giants, the wizards, all that work in the core. And then the support of the miners come in behind him and it's just a really, really strong attack. Uh, he can three-star Town Hall 10s fairly easily. Um, and then the, the 11s as well. It's just, you know, 11s get tricky because you never... They're a little little less dependable uh, three-stars. I guess. I can't... I, I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say because I'm still half asleep. <laughs> it's, it's much harder to three-star your, your 11s because they have the Eagle Artillery. And if you can't get your kill squad or you can't get the Archer Queen Walk or whatever... Um, your first phase of the attack if you can't get into the base and take out that eagle before you put in your tr your main body then the eagles going off and it's going to take out whatever high uh, hit point troops you have first and so it can get, get to be a mess so you especially with a, an attack like miners that don't attack the air troops so you have to be careful with the clan castle troops um, you have to use those two phase attacks so hope you guys enjoyed the video my miners, um, even though it's great debate in my clan, I, I really feel like miners are great troops, especially to farm with. It costs about four hundred thousand elixir to use a, a, a full miner army with the support of uh, the Queen Walk, which is what I do. But for four hundred thousand elixir, you're using about one hundred and twenty dark elixir, so you're getting all profit on dark elixir, and you can really push ahead. I pushed ahead from Champ Three. To Titan 3 in about one month's time using that minor attack so I never really lost any raids so I would suggest if you're trying to move ahead and you're trying to and you're working on getting dark elixir it's a great alternative to using some of your other big armies uh, farming and once you learn how to use them farming you can use them in war and you can be like Terminator and three star pretty much every war <laughs> so hope you enjoyed the video until next time it's been easy take care everybody Switch it. Go, go, go.